Hello, welcome to another part of Shining Force. Today we're going to be in a battle. So let's just send him. Uh, we send him right the way up. Let's put him there. Put her there. Yeah, because these enemies are quite far away, so we can do that. You see, we've got a new enemy on the screen. It's a, some sort of caster. So bats, they're no threat to us. The only annoying thing about them is they can put us to sleep. Oh, we've got some archers as well. They can be a bit tricky. At least we got a lot more space to move in this one. Okay, so some of them are going down that way. Might be an idea to send some units to the right thing. Keep him up there. Keep the healer close. And we've got some dark dwarfs coming down from the right hand side trying to flank us. We're going to send uh, some of these guys to the right to deal with them. This is going to be quite a tricky map because of the different directions that enemies are coming in. I'm actually going to keep them there by the bridge. I don't want to send them up further because we might pull the centaurs and we don't want to do that. We want to deal with these dwarves first if we can and the bats. You can easily get surrounded if you're too aggressive. Send him there. Keep him there for a minute. Send my monk forward. Gong. He's alright to jump forward. He's not going to get picked off. Ah, it's slow and tedious, isn't it? No, staying right there. Oh, I might need to move forwards a little bit actually to pull those bats. I wasn't sure if they would advance anymore. So let's just go there and see what happens. And there, not too far forwards. Easy does it. Don't get carried away. It is kind of annoying how passive they can be. But you just have to slowly edge your way. Just ever so slightly. trying to pull them but they're just they're really really defensive come on I'm gonna send him forward a bit more come on no I think it's like you have to move into their movement range or they just won't budge. Safety first day. Oh, I gotta stay in there for a minute. Do these bats decide what they want to do? And they can gradually.
I'm sure if I was more familiar with this game I could move better, but I don't. It's because I don't have enough experience to know how to pull them. How far do I have to walk before they start attacking me? And this is clearly quite frustrating. Because I ain't got all the time in the world. Come on. There we go, he moved at last. God, took your time. It looks like the bats are moving into position too. So we have to be careful here. We'll send the other archer over here to do it then. Luckily the bats don't hit very hard. I think I've mentioned that already, haven't I? She's going to move down one. Yeah, they're, they're getting aggressive now. I've moved into their range. I have triggered them! Can he attack them? No, he can't because now he has a melee weapon. No attack. Ah, it's annoying. Okay, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Alright, we could be. We need to be careful here because we could get ourselves surrounded. So. We spread out. She doesn't have a range either, does she? Hmm. Alright, stay there. Don't do anything yet. Okay, you can go there. Finally, we get to attack. It took a while. I just needed to be careful that I wasn't too aggressive because that can lead to problems. As long as one dwarf is fighting one character, not two dwarfs, like this, this is bad. We don't want this. I need to get my healer into position. No, don't stay! Ah. Uh... I don't think he's an archer like I thought he was. I, I assumed he was an archer because he looked like he had a bow, but clearly he does not. What does he do then? Is he one of those like characters that gives you another character an extra turn or is he a healer? What is he? I'll be a livid if he's a healer because... Okay, good. Yeah, we don't mind that. She can take a punch. We've already found that out. We really need my healer to have his turn. Luckily, all these enemies are spreading out across the area. So we might not be in that big trouble. Let's go for him over there. Go on, mate. Ah, oh, really? Goodness sake, my healer's not going to get his turn, is he? And then Luke's going to die. Not that it's a big deal. She doesn't have Blaze 2 yet, does she? I don't think I could hit them all. She does have Blaze 2. Okay. But I still can only hit one at a time there. What about? You know, I always have trouble working. No, if they're diagonal, it doesn't hit. Okay, I got it. I think they need to be stood next to each other for it to hit. So we can do blade. It doesn't do any more damage, it just hits more characters. That's the thing with Blaze 2. Come on, healer, have your turn already! 
Yeah, it's just so typical. That was nice. Why couldn't Thingy do that a minute ago? Alright, good. And he can get into the right position too. That's excellent. I was worried that it was going to give an enemy a turn before I got a chance. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I might be okay now. Fingers crossed. Oh, that was really fortunate. He could have quite easily had his turn first. We're not out of the woods yet. We've got to deal with all these lot. We seem to be uh, very busy. to take down free damage. Nope. Gong is still a bit of a sissy it seems. Now what do you do Chris? Are you a mage? Are you a healer? What? What is your item? Let's have a look. Wooden staff. So he's a... Uh, that still doesn't really help. What sort of magic does he have? He's a healer! Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I understand. We've got two healers now, that's excellent. He doesn't need healing. Does Gong need healing? Gong kind of needs healing. He's only got nine heal. Eh! Why not? Get the experience there for poor Chris. Better than doing nothing, I suppose. Yeah, it's probably a good job I did heal him then, looking at that. <clears throat> oh, nice! one shot him. Level 4. And good stat gains. A mighty one damage, but it does send Max to sleep. Go on, hands. Not bad, not bad. Feels like forever since May had that time. It's like playing Dungeons and Dragons with a large group. It just takes forever to ev for everyone's turns to be used up. Can I? Nope. No, no. I keep forgetting if they're diagonal, then it only gets one. So let's use some of our magic power to finish off this little dwarf. Get some more experience. Punch a dwarf in the face. I don't recommend doing that in real life. It'll get you into lots of trouble. That's the second time he's missed. Max is asleep. Oh no! Oh, let's try and move him up here just to try and pull some other creatures down a bit more. Wow, ah, that's twice he's got two hits in a row. That won't happen again. It, yeah, Luke is one of the best characters in the game, I think. How long have Gort here? Is Logan gonna reach level 3? Maybe. No. 
Anyone else need healing? Gort needs healing again, doesn't he? Oh, gone. Sorry. Sorry, got your name wrong. Gone. Looks like we've only got two heals left. It's fine. I think we're going to heal. Ah! No, I'm not. What am I on that? Use that blaze! Blaze it! Punch that bat to death! Good job, Gong! I only got this back to deal with. Yo, bat! Again, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Three times in a row. Ah, he got it that time. Are we gonna move? Oh, they're moving down anyway. Okay, cool. I'm gonna save Sate once we've taken out this last bat. Because the next lot. It's like doing it in two parts, isn't it? You do the first lot of dwarfs and bats, and then you come and fight the centaurs with the archers and mages. The sleep spell ends. Bell ends. Um, does Gork need healing again? Does anybody here need healing? Let's have a look. He's on 11. He's on... Oh, yes. Let's heal up uh, hands. And that's the last heal spell that Lo can do for now. We do have a lot of uh, herbs we can use if we get in trouble, so that's fine. And does Chris need to use anyone? No, uh, to be honest. But you know what, I'm going to give uh, the bat a good whack with Chris, because why not? Ha! And he doesn't do too badly, actually. It's just two damage. That's perfectly respectable for a healing class. And you can see I'm just gradually moving up the map. Right. So. Now I believe we can save it if I get the right button. Yeah. And we can move towards the centaurs. And try and split them off half and half maybe. Flank them. Pincer movement then, that's what I'm doing, a pincer movement. Yes. Try and make sure Max doesn't get in too much trouble. And again, I'm just gradually moving, I'm not going too crazy with it. Oh, actually, they're quite far away, I probably could afford to move all the way up. But not if you're a healer, because... It's just keep him at the back. You don't have any healers in that region. Just be careful, those archers at this level can be a bit of a pain. I think. From what I remember, they're stronger than they look. Plus you got this dark mage with tons of health. Okay, so we're going to keep them there, I think. For now. Oops. No, just stay there until the unless the centaurs decide they want to stay still as well. Oh, 
They're not that strong, really. I'm being a bit of a pussy. Especially since none of these characters even matter. But it saves me money if I don't have to revive them all the time. Stay. Stay. We don't want to go gun ho. Okay, looks like we've managed to pull them a bit. Good. Let's see how hard they hit. Very hard. Seven damage. Right, right. And we've got no healers around. Hmm. Might be in trouble here. The good news is we pulled them away, so we might be able to deal with them one at a time. If we can take them out quickly before they take down poor Ken here. Hopefully my mage goes next, because she's got... Um, was it Blaze 2? Oh, I thought I crashed then. That was really worrying. One at a time, one at a time. Ah, oh, nice one. He's level five, but he doesn't gain much. 